And bang! What is up, I'm Yasin, no, my student, shooters, members, and viewers. This is your older children creators, founding fighter Scott Casey Gale here. And today, I'm going to give you my WWE War Reveal. And just like on Friday SmackDown, this week's War was performed in the, w in the WWE Performance Center in Orlando, Florida, with no fans. The commentators for the show were Tom Phillips, Jerry the King Lauer, and Byron Saxton. And nothing really big happened on tonight's Monday Night War, except for an amazing promo from Edge, a contract signing between AJ Styles and The Undertaker, and Stoker Steve Austin making an, an appearance to celebrate 360 Day. But all in all, this was just a very strange war. Just mediocre. Not very good. Except for um, a couple of segments. Okay, let's begin with the reveal, shall we? It started off with, with Edge cut a promo. Edge talked about how Beth Phoenix original announced what was going to be that Edge was was retiring again, but Randy Orton didn't let her finish. Edge challenged Randy Orton to a last man standing match at WrestleMania. I gotta say, what an amazing promo from Edge. I really enjoyed this. Edge, Edge has just proved that he can still cut a promo to this day. And I'm really looking forward to his last man standing match against Randy Orton at WrestleMania, which will also be performed at the Performance Center due to the, due, due to the coronavirus outbreak. So, so that should definitely be a great match. And then after that, Becky Lynch arrived to the performance center in a customized semi truck, which I thought looked pretty cool. And then, then they did a replay of the 2020 Men's Royal Rumble match was shown in its entirety, where Drew McIntyre won still. That was not needed, but the only reason they did it because they, they only had one match on the card. They had nothing ready to do. And so then, and then, The Undertaker arrived at the Performance Center for his contract signing with AJ Styles. Uh, and the OC showed up on the video screen to insult Undertaker. And Styles has the OC <coughs> take the contract out to him. Undertaker beat them up, signed the contract, and stuffed it in Anderson's mouth. This is, I thought this was pretty awesome. I really enjoyed this. I really um, enjoyed um, Undertaker coming out, saying absolutely nothing. I loved how um, AJ Styles was talking trash to The Undertaker and uh, sending the OC to do his dirty work. And, and I loved just how Undertaker just beat the hell out of the, the, the OC because they deserve that. But anyway, any, and, and, but anyway this, is, this is a very, very awesome, awesome segment of AJ Styles and The Undertaker. And then the first match was Rey Mysterio defeated Andrade. Oscar was on color commentary for some reason, which I thought was pretty funny. Mysterio won after a 6-1-9 and a top rope smash. We've seen this match so many times before. There was no need for us to see this match again. It was not, it, it was not needed. It was went washing repeat. And then, Becky Lynch came out and cut a promo on Shayna Beza and how, how as long as she's champion, Shayna, Shayna's life is a lie. Baszler angrily watched from backstage. Interesting promo from Becky Lynch. And then Kevin Owens cut a backstage promo where he was, inter where he was interviewed. Kevin Owens spoke about liking WrestleMania being, being relocate, relocated to the WWE Performance Center because he wants to defeat Seth Rollins in the same building where he believes he earned his place in WWE. Very well done promo from Kevin Owens. I liked it. I really enjoyed it. And then Stone Cold Steve Austin showed up, showed up to declare March 16, 316 day, a national holiday, and did a blue collar comedy routine about it. Byron Saxon responded to Austin's bit by, by heckling him. So Austin invited him to the ring, proposed a toast to him, and hit him with a stone cold stunner. Becky Lynch brought out a cooler of beers to the ring, and the two had a beer bash. Austin then gave Saxton another stunner. This was entertaining at best. I thought this was entertaining at best. I love. I mean, it was weird, but it was entertaining. Um, and my and, and I loved how Stone Cold Steve Austin 
dropped Byron Saxon for Stone Cold Stunner. I knew that was going to happen. As soon as Byron Saxon was, was yelling, hell yeah, on a commentary like a goofball, and, 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 make, and making a fool out, out of himself, as soon as Stone Cold Steve Austin challenged him to come to the window to, do, to have a beer bath, to have a beer toast with him, you knew, you knew a Stone Cold Stunner was coming. Coming, coming. But anyway, this was entertaining at best. As far as this war goes, nothing really happens. I mean, so I guess I'm just going to give it a 6 out of 6 because nothing big really happened and a C plus. Anyway, comment down below in the comment section. Tell me what you thought about this um, WWE war and um, what you liked about it and what you didn't like about it. Anyway, I will be back here later today for an MW Power review and a, um, I will be back on Wednesday for an AEW review and a, and an NXT review. And apparently AEW Dynamite is going to be in an empty arena as well as NXT in the performance that the NXT will be. I don't know, so, but hopefully AEW does better than, um, WWE did. And I definitely, and I know they could because I trust AEW. Anyway, um, you stay classy, live long and prosper, and peace out, and I must have been adieu, good night, and good, and goodbye, and bang, and the watch catches Jack, bang, bang, good night, everybody.